What is going on guys, Nordnight7 here back again with another YouTube video and today we return with a series that I did a lot of um, on this YouTube channel for a long time. I kind of put an end to it and we're going to start bringing it back. News times have returned. Um, we'll do these probably every other day, maybe every day if there's enough news. Um, of course, I may have to factor it in with other things going on in my life. School, hockey, I got a bunch of other things going on. It's not just YouTube. Uh, as much as I wish it was, it's not. So that's unfortunate. But anyways, before we get into the news time, talking about some news around the NHL as of late. If you are new to the channel and you have not already subscribed, I really would appreciate it if you did so. Um, we're doing great. I mean, the channel's been doing pretty good as of late. The watch time's gone up. Uh, the watch duration's gone up. So, you know, everything's been good. So I really appreciate it if you would subscribe and keep watching the videos. Even a like helps me out. So I really would appreciate it. And anyways, let's get into the news time. So first off, we'll start off with your games for the day. Um, there is a game between Calgary and Ottawa at 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, it's about 20 minutes from right now. It'll probably, the game will probably be underway by the time this video posts. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Washington Capitals at 7 p.m., which by the way, I don't have it mentioned in my notes here. Sidney Crosby, Chad Ruedel, um, Brian Dumoulin, and Marcus Pedersen will be making their returns uh, to the team tonight uh, to face up against the Washington Capitals. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and then as well as that, the Montreal Canadiens are playing the Boston Bruins for the first time in 641 days at 7 o'clock p.m. And then the New York, New York Rangers are playing the New Jersey Devils. So the good old Jack Hughes versus Kako Kako matchup will occur at 7 p.m. Then you have Edmonton Oilers and the St. Louis Blues we facing off at 7 p.m. as well. And then you have the Anaheim Ducks and the Vancouver Canucks facing off at 8 p.m. So a lot of early games tonight. So I hope you guys can enjoy those. Uh, I'll probably watch the Ottawa-Calgary Ottawa game and the Pittsburgh-Washington one. But anyways, we'll waste any more of your time. Let's get into some other news with the NHL. We'll move on to signings. Um, the Ottawa Senators have signed defenseman Zach Leslie to a one-year center of a 50K contract. Uh, he had two points in nine games played with the Ottawa Senators. Uh, in that remarks, uh, the, re the main reason why they're signing him is because a lot of their guys are injured or they're on COVID protocol. Uh, another player was notably put it on protoco protocol today, uh, Drake Batherson. I'll just mention that now. And also, as well as that, Shane Pinto uh, has been injured at least seven days after re-injuring his shoulder, which is really unfortunate for him. I hope he recovers for that. So obviously, they got to sign some guys. He's also on waivers, so his two-way contract can kick in. Hopefully, he doesn't get claimed or Ottawa's going to be like, well crap <laughs> so anyways uh, as well as that another big extension that happened today nick dowd a probably like a bottom six four for the washington capitals signed a contract today three years 1.3 million dollars uh he has 1.1 goal in nine games so far so uh, i mean that's an all right contract i mean three years may look at that a little bit extreme as i said before with other contracts on the channel term always scares me so that's the thing you got to point out there as well um, moving on to injuries, as I already mentioned, Shane Pinto missed seven days, uh, Batherson in COVID protocol, as well as this, Dimitri Askin, uh, a new signed forward coming from the KHL with your Arizona Coyotes. Uh, he is unfortunately out for the season after taking a big knee, um, from Mark Borowiecki, which by the way, will not get any suspension, uh, discipline, which we thought we were going to get, but apparently he didn't. So it's unfortunate, but I mean, you know, things like that happen. So I hope you ask him has a nice recovery. Maybe he can get back during the season, but right now it is not looking too good. That's it for injuries. Uh, on to punishments, um, obviously. Of course, the Borbieski thing we already mentioned. We have two fines we got to talk about. Uh, Wild defenseman Alex Galagoski was fined $5,000 for high sticking cracker forward Jordan Eberly. And Penguins forward Evan Rodriguez was fined $2,500, $2, my bad for a dangerous trip on Ottawa forward Zach Sanford. So those were the punishments. Um, I mean, we see those every day. I mean, there's nothing really to, to talk about with those. And we got some other news here. Um, other news, uh, I only have one thing, so this is going to be a pretty short news time. Montreal head coach Dominic Ducharme is apparently on the hot seat via Pierre Lebrun, so Canadian's coach there. Um, of course, we saw that coming with how Montreal's played this season. Of course, with the OT loss they took last night to the Detroit Red Wings, very tough loss, and they lost Jake Allen as well. So nothing has really been going their way for them. Um, probably since the Cup Finals, uh, they lose KK, they lose Denault. Price goes out for a little bit. I don't know where he's at now. Uh, Allen gets injured. A couple guys are on COVID protocol. Hoffman, Savard, they're not looking too good. Everything is just a, it's just a disaster in Montreal right now. So obviously, um, that's not good to see. It. I'm not surprised who charms on the hot seat. 
But I mean, you gotta start thinking here. We got you gotta start thinking like Bergevin's probably gone. Um, the new could the new GM who comes in if J- Bergevin doesn't already fire him, uh, he'd probably fire Ducharme. Um, I mean, they might just take a whole entire revamp with this general management. And I mean, I honestly I wouldn't really blame them if they went that way because when you look at the team right now you know Cole Caulfield struggling he scored his first goal of the season period not just NHL or AHL his first goal of the season period uh yesterday against the Utica Comets so I mean everything's just a big blob right now for Montreal so it's not looking too good so anyways it's all I got for news time today if you guys enjoyed please make sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button I really would appreciate it um that'd be great to see um anyways thank you for watching Friday's Port is late and I will see you guys in the next video Adios.